Imagine being able to control or automate your computer, the apps and websites you use, and your most common activities right from the push of a button. And when I say button, I don't mean a button on a screen or yet another keyboard shortcut you need to remember. I mean an actual physical button on your desk. That is possible with Elgato Stream Deck, a physical device that comes in different sizes and configurations that plugs in into your Windows or Mac, computers wire USB. So what the heck is Stream Deck? It's a device used by gamers and streamers so they can wow their audience on their live streams by showing replays and playing sound effects without the viewers noticing that they just pressed a button. This device is basically a keypad with LCD keys. You upload icons to symbolize different functions assigned to those keys. It's one touch tactile operation, allows you to do things that can be distracting and frankly disruptive to your deep work state so you can focus on getting stuff done. More on that life-changing methodology in the video linked above. The real reason I use it, because it allows me to focus. I often struggle with remembering my hotkeys when automating my computer and get frustrated that even when I remember the hotkey, it really isn't working on the software I'm in. I also don't feel like futzing with mouse and keyboard when I can literally get the task done with just pressing a button. Since Stream Deck runs off its own software, it's dependable and seamless. Such control has remained exclusive to the entertainment broadcasters, but now can be added to your workspace. I got the extra large version with 32 buttons and have used it for two years now and save at least 30 minutes a day because of this device alone. Simply drag and drop action onto keys and make your own custom icons using the key creator Turn keys into folders and basically do any action you want to with the click of a button. Let me show you how mine is configured so you can follow along and set up your own device. So in my top row, I have my most commonly used email applications. If I want to go into my work email, I have Outlook configured. The way to configure this is to go into system, go onto website, drag website onto this placeholder and put in your email address. Similarly, this is my Gmail. This is my Outlook app. To configure an app, you go into system and go to open. And when you hover over open, you can see that open an app file or folder, which is really useful. You left click and drag onto this icon and select the application you need and click open. Similarly, I have the Apple Mail application, Evernote. These two buttons have some of my passwords saved and it's not recommended to save password on a Stream Deck, but most of the files on my computer are locked and I find it useful to add another layer of security to my folders. In the top right-hand corner, I have a little clock, which can be added as a plugin from Bar Raider and I can show you how to get to it a little bit later on. In the second row, I have Safari, Google search, Chrome, my work calendar, these two money icons here. One is a file in Apple numbers where I track my investments. The second is a link to a website. I can access Twitter with a click of a button. I can access news through CNN. In the third row, the first two icons are to access my two commonly used folders. The first folder is in OneDrive and basically contains all of my academic work. PB are my initials and this is the folder on my computer where I keep all my personal and tax documents. The next three icons are my online storage accounts on box.com, dropbox.com, and OneDrive. The next button is CleanShot X, which is an application for me to take screenshots of my screen. Spotify, and then the arrow key is to go to the next page. In the bottom row, I have an on and off switch for the Philips Hue lights that control the lighting in my studio and my desk. The next icon is 1Password, which is my go-to password application. The CV button takes me directly to my Microsoft Word CV document. I script all of my videos on an application called Notion, which is next. I can very quickly go to YouTube, open up Final Cut Pro, access my YouTube studio. And the last button is to respond to comments from, from viewers like yourself who comment on my videos. If you're starting out on Stream Deck, you will find most useful information under system, such as open a website, configure your hotkeys, open a certain document, paste any text you would like, 
And I think you will also find great value in the multi-action button, which you can configure to add multiple things to happen simultaneously with a single click of a button. In the top left, you can also create a separate profile Do as a radiologist. I can set this up to access the most common websites I go to, but you can also set up another profile for Zoom so you can control Zoom with a click of a button. In the top right-hand corner, you can go to the Stream Deck store where you can discover new features, explore hundreds of plugins, select an icon for your LCD buttons, Music and sound effects is mainly for streamers. I will put a link in the description for my favorite website for you to download some of these colorful icons. To add these icons to your buttons, click on the down arrow and click select from file and then you can upload any of your JPEG files into the Stream Deck application. Hope you've learned something new today and can start saving time in your daily routine. I encourage you to explore the possibilities and most importantly, stay productive. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments how Stream Deck saves you time and energy. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video.